Hello everyone, thank you for watching Mad Trucks with Marcos. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Elkhorn, Wisconsin, getting close to 60 degrees in February, so that's awesome. Uh, we have an awesome Jeep. It's a 2017 uh, Wrangler Unlimited Willys edition. And uh, this one got an awesome package from 777 Custom, uh, two, only a two inch lift with the huge 37 inch tires on it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a peek at it. Uh, if you could do me a huge favor, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, you can see any of our custom truck inventory at cunistcountrytrucks.com. Alright guys, so here at the front of this Jeep, uh, we're going to start by talking about some of the body stuff that we did to it. Um, so at the very front, uh, if you, we just posted a video a little bit ago on a Jeep Wrangler. We did a 35's no lift. Um, that one got uh, this basically same bumper. Um, this is how it looks when you have it uh, in the stubby setup. Um, so in the stubby setup, this bar is fixed. So the, all the bumpers are going to come with this bar. Um, but these end caps, so if you look at the other one it has the full cone so basically you take the cone off and then you can replace it with this end cap uh, and now it's a stubby bumper and it's really nice because you see the the line matches uh, with the line coming off the fender and the grill um, so it matches really nicely there it's i mean it, it looks it's top notch um, so i really like the fact that i can order the same bumper and uh, it could look a bunch of different ways um, we could do this middle and like a silver if we wanted to and do the ends black i mean there's just a lot of options as far as uh, what you can do um, they also have a mounting points up here for lights already. Um, this one, we just took the fact, it already had factory LED fog lamps on the 17s. Um, so we just took those fog lamps and uh, relocated them right into that uh, bumper, which is really nice that they made that easy for us to do. So just pulled the factory fog lamp um, and the mounting bracket and installed it onto this bumper, basically the same way as the factory ones would install. Um, boom, nice clean look. Um, and we do take advantage of uh, Mopar giving us uh, the LED lights. So um, we have it there and the end caps, uh, they do have spots to put lights in there as well. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you this bumper. I'm really impressed with all the area stuff that we've been doing. You've seen we've done a lot of their products. And uh, this front bumper is the first time we've got to use it in the stubby format and uh, really excited about it. We've gotten a lot of compliments on the looks of it. Um, so we did the bumper on the front, which uh, I will talk about wheels and tires later, but um, that allows us to basically we can turn this tire all the way both you know left and right and it doesn't rub anywhere um, which is awesome which is really essential when we're building these custom jeeps uh, you know it's a brand new jeep uh, very important that there's no rub on it um, so we got some clearance from that um, which is really nice um, just as a nice little aesthetic touch we did the angry grill on the front uh, just really popular really it's an inexpensive way to change the the look of the front front of the jeep uh, so this one um, was ordered up actually in black. Uh, the Willys does come with a black grill from the factory, um, so it matched very nicely there. So moving along to the side, um, I know you guys uh, won't worry about the mud too much. Uh, so um, these are Aries aluminum fender flares. Um, these are the front ones. Um, I've, I've talked about them a lot about how they protect, you know, from debris and stuff that you're going to throw up. Um, right now, we basically crawled back in here into the mud, uh, so we didn't, I mean, we're not going fast. We'll go a little fast later, and you'll see how much mud it flings up. Um, but they really do, I mean, they protect the side of the body a lot. There's still a little bit coming up, um, but you're going to expect that on any of them, especially with uh, giant tires like this. So the front flare is really nice. They give us that clearance, so uh, we actually, we flex this thing out. Uh, might be able to post a picture of that, but we did uh, flex this thing out. Um, so the, it was on the bump stop, so the front, front end was completely articulated. Uh, and we still had uh, a few inches to spare on the top here. So by having this flare uh, height-wise, I mean, really, we could run even a little bigger tire, It'd probably go up to 38 if we wanted to. Um, so really nice to have that. Um, allows us to lift it the least amount possible to fit this, uh, fit this tire underneath there. Um, so we did the flares on the body. Um, I will mention, right now, there's no rock rails or uh, side steps on this Jeep. Reason is, is it is up a significant amount. The, you know, half the time we'll do a rack rail, half the time we'll do a running board, and uh, it seems like 
when we do a running board, person ends up wanting a rack rail, and when we do a rack rail, somebody actually wants a step. So we decided just to leave this one open uh, for the customer to decide. Uh, so when you purchase this Jeep, you can say, okay, well, we want, you know, I want a rack rail, or I want to a, 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 want to do the Aries board, which is really nice, which you've seen, um, or we want to do a power running board, whatever we want to do. We can just do this uh, to whatever the needs are of the customer. We try to leave it um, so people can still, you know, customize it a little bit to what how they're going to be using it. Um, so I will say that about there. Um, the rear flares, again, um, same really high quality aluminum that uh, the front flares are made out of. And uh, when you do the front and the rear flares, it just, it gives the Jeep a different look. And um, a lot of people, they want to change stuff on their Jeep, but they really don't want to make it uh, ride horribly. Um, there's a lot of horror stories out there of people you know, doing stuff to their Jeep and then they end up not liking it. Well, when you do stuff to the body, um, like doing this, uh, I mean, you're not going to change the drivability of it. You're just going to increase how it looks. Um, and you are going to increase the, you know, how much a tire it can uh, fit under there as well. So, you know, if you just want to do stock flares and just a little bigger tire, that is an option as well. Um, so yeah, so onto the back, um, I actually had this body armor bumper uh, from another build. We ended up not using it. So um, it worked out perfect for this because with the big 37 inch tire, um, we definitely wanted um, all that weight to come off of this door. Um, there's actually Jeep in for service right now that a customer, they, it was just a 35 inch tire on the factory tire carrier. They just put like a little extension onto it and it ended up bending pretty badly, bending the door here and here. Um, so what this does is um, this body armor system so it's got this nice latch here. Um, so this is comp so this weight, everything from the wheel and tire is now uh, none of it is on this door. Um, this door is still operate um, on its own, and it doesn't have any. It actually has less weight on it now than it would have from the factory. Because from the factory, um, right here, there would have been um, the spare tire carrier. Um, we pulled that off, and then we just put a poison spider uh, delete plate in there just to clean that up. Um, but yeah, so the spare tire carrier from Body Armor, and then it's mounted onto Body Armor's uh, bumper, and I'll just open this up so you can get a better shot at that. Uh, you can get this bumper without the spare tire carrier. If, um, you know, if you don't have a need for it, you just want just the bumper, you can do this bumper with it. Uh, reason I liked this bumper was because um, you can see it's only about three inches deep. Um, so as far as your departure angle, when you keep this as close to the chassis as possible, um, it is going to make that as nice as, um, you know, get up and down things as easy as possible without bumping on the bumper. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice clean look and, you know, when you feel it, you can tell it's sturdy. Um, and then, yeah, it's got the nice latch system on it here, uh, which works like so, just like that. All right, we're going to go around and check out the suspension. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so um, I'm gonna talk about the suspension now. Uh, so this Jeep, uh, it only has a two inch lift and um, this isn't an off the shelf uh, kit. Um, basically we took pieces from lift kits that we've done that we've really liked and uh, we incorporated them all into this one. Um, so for example, I mean, there is, um, there's obviously some Fox stuff, Fox stuff from the shocks. Um, there's some BDS components, there's some ready lift components. Um, so we really, we took a lot of stuff that we like. Uh, there's actually some Terraflex stuff in there too. Um, so we took stuff from bits and pieces from, from companies we really like that we do a lot of stuff with and um, basically tried to make this the nicest riding Jeep with 37s that we could. Um, so the lift out of the springs, uh, we don't, so it's only a two inch lift. Um, nice thing about that is um, when you do the two inch lift, you're not really, you don't have to worry about control arms and that kind of stuff quite yet. I mean, you could, and it's definitely going to help, but you don't have to do control arms yet. Um, so by doing the two inch, um, the shocks on these, so this is a, a Fox shock. It's the nice, uh, it's got the internal bypass. And um, these are actually ordered a custom valve uh, just to try to have a little bit of smoother ride and uh, just kind of control, control the axle as much as possible when a, when a bump comes up. It's going to absorb that shock as much as possible. And then, um, so, and then by having that external reservoir, the, so that lets us do a couple things. Um, it's going to allow the shock to move up and down very quickly. Um, without fading, without having problems. Um, it's not gonna have heat in there um, because of that internal bypass. The other thing that lets us do is it gives us more articulation in the suspension. Um, typically, like if this had um, a normal two inch lift shock, that shock is actually gonna stop us before we would hit the bump stop. Um, so this one is actually a shock for built for a three inch lift. Um, and what that does is basically it eliminates um, when we stretch it all the way out, 
it goes all the way to the bump stop. The shock doesn't stop us. Um, so it's really nice that Fox does that type of setup where you can call them up and say, hey, this is what we're building. Uh, we want to do something a little different. They can help you out. Um, on this scenario with, with you know how nice of a Jeep it is, we couldn't really put a cheap shock on there. So really excited we were able to get those Fox shocks. Um, and yeah, um, the steering stabilizer on this, I will mention. So this is the new TerraFlex Falcon steering stabilizer. Um, I know Matt's got a couple cool shots of it, but basically we've had a lot of steering stabilizers that um, end up causing a pull. Um, a lot of them, uh, you know, customers say, hey, it's, it's consistently pulling. We pull it back in the alignment rack. All the specs are perfect. Um, and, a lot, and a lot of them we found that we'd pull the aftermarket steering stabilizer shock we had used pull it off, throw a stock one back on, and the pull would be gone. Um, what was happening is some of those shocks had uh, a positive pressure in them, and basically it didn't let the shock just sit where it needed to sit. So as you can see on this one, it has a pass-through design, completely eliminates that problem. Um, I haven't put more than 20 miles on it after that steering stabilizer, but I am pretty confident in saying it's the nicest steering stabilizer we've used, and uh, we have used a pretty good amount of them. So. Can't say enough about that. I'm um, just excited to see how it holds up over time. But as far as my initial impressions with that shock, uh, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, on the front, um, oh, you know what? I didn't mention it on the body, um, but we don't do retakes, so I'll mention it now. Um, we did do an inner fender liner on this one. Aries does have their inner fender liner coming out. We're excited to use it. Um, but this time we went with the Ace Engineering. I've had really good luck with their inner fender liners, and uh, it just it makes it for a really nice, clean look in there, especially now that it's lifted up. You can see a lot more of that. Um, right here is where there's a big box of computer stuff, which is now obviously all protected by this. Um, so that's a must have if you're doing, uh, if you're doing the fenders or the fender flares, gotta do an inner fender liner. Um, so moving around to the suspension on the back, um, very similar setup to what's in the front. I, uh, it does have the matching shocks in the rear. Um, so the shocks all work together um, to basically keep the ride as nice as possible. Um, we hit a bump and I mean, you feel that bump, but it settles down uh, pretty nicely afterwards. And uh, it's, it's a soft ride. Um, some of the kits we use are a little stiffer, but you know, those companies uh, claim on, you know, being tough and rugged. So when you're tough and rugged, it's gonna be a little stiffer ride. Um, this does come with warranty. Obviously all this stuff is tough on it, but everywhere that we could err on the side of uh, comfort, we did that. Um, so yeah, suspension wise, two inches of lift, um, components came from a little bit of everywhere, but um, sometimes that's what you need. A little bit from here, a little bit from there. And uh, if you drive this Jeep, I think you would, uh, you would agree that it rides great. Um, so we're gonna go on and talk about the tires. All right, guys, um, so we are gonna talk about wheels and tires. I'm gonna stay at this one up front. Um, but so for the tires, um, the goal of this build was to be able to fit a 37 inch tire. And uh, really when it comes to a mud tire, there's only a couple that I mean are at the top of the game. Um, so the Niddle Trail, Niddle Trail Grappler MT is one of those tires that we've used on a lot of builds. You've seen us use them on a lot of different Jeeps. Um, in a 37 inch, it's an awesome tire. It's got the really aggressive looking nubs. And uh, as you can see, when you know we're driving around, um, they do their job of you know cleaning themselves out as soon as they get a little momentum under them. They just fling that mud up and allows your you know allows it to go back in with the clean treads and get more mud. Um, so as far as the tires, we're really I mean I've never had a problem with one of these. They wear really well. I've used them anywhere from a Jeep Wrangler all the way up to a one-ton truck. Um, so you know if you're looking for different PSIs, different load ratings, uh, they make it in a lot of different ones. So you should be able to find what you need. Um, but yeah, like I said, 37 by 12 and a half on an 18 inch wheel. Um, this is a fuel recoil, I believe is the name of the wheel. Um, it is in an 18 by nine. And I believe it's 18 by nine or eight and a half. Um, but yeah, I like this wheel a lot. Um, it has the like simulated bead around the side, which kind of gives that look of a bead lock. We can't run a true bead lock on the road. So it's nice to at least have something that resembles that. Um, but yeah, the fuel wheels, as far as quality goes, you know, they, they build them right, and uh, as long as you keep, um, you know, strong acids off them, they go through our Wisconsin winters no problems. You don't, I don't see a lot of these coming back having peeling problems or corrosion problems. Um, you know, you get what you pay for. People say that a lot. Uh, with wheels and tires, it is absolutely true. Um, there are cheaper tires on the market that are going to look really nice. They're going to do a good job. They might even not be horrible on the road. Um, but if you look at it on a big scale, the amount of problems they have for the amount of 
you know, this tire and this wheel that they sell, um, it's, you know, you're pretty safe going with this route. And uh, not only are you safe, I mean, most people, um, you know, a lot of people really like this tire and uh, they swear by it. So yeah, on this Jeep, 37s on an 18 inch wheel gives you that, you know, what I would consider the right proportions as far as having, you know, you have a medium amount of sidewall for a Jeep, um, but still you wanna, you know, you wanna make the wheel visible. So wheels and tires, top of the line with the Nitto and the fuel setup. And of course um, it does have five of them. Can't forget that on the Jeep. Um, all right, if you guys have any questions, please let us know. This Jeep is available for sale at our Cunis Country um, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram store of Elkhorn. Um, so it is available for sale though, for sale there. Uh, give one of our salespeople a call or give me a call and uh, we'll get you set up and uh, we can set you up to come check it out or we can ship it out to you. So anything you need, uh, please give us a shout. Thank you very much.